week inside the federal court. Less than 24 hours after his victory as the next leader of the UDP, John Saldiva's name was prominent today in court proceedings. The court did not session on Friday, but as the proceedings got underway this morning, Kingston, under oath, gave testimony of damning information. According to Kingston, leader-elect Saldiva received bundles of cash in April 2012 from Dermot. An exhibit he presented is a photo of a vessel assigned to the Belize Coast Guard in which he and Dermot were taken to southern Belize. Joining us live for an update is our reporter in Salt Lake City, Hippolyto Novello. Hippolyto, go ahead and share with us the latest. Yes, John Saldiva's name was ringing here in the U.S. District Court in Salt Lake City, Utah. The now UDP leader-elect is being accused by Jacob Kingston, the key witness for the prosecution here in, in Utah, for taking thousands of dollars of cash from Lev Derman, the fraudster, on prosecution here in the United States. Now, according to Kingston, they had traveled in April 2013 to, to see some projects here in Belize, and they met uh, John Saldiva, who had been um, appointed in ministry, a Minister of National Security in March of 2012, 2013, I believe. And according to Kingston, during one of those meetings they were um, involving John Saldiva, he saw, he said, he saw that Lev Derman gave Saldiva money. He said it was in two halves, a few halves, and he said that it was a ten thousand dollars, a stack of cash that um, Lev Derman gave the Honorable Minister John Saldiva. Kingston also mentioned that he wasn't sure or he did not know what the monies were for. He did not know the business or negotiation between the two gentlemen on their trip here in um, Belize in April 2013. So his specific testimony is saying, and I believe uh, you reported that he was questioned, that he witnessed the handing over of the stack of cash. Yes. Um, Kingston said, and I quote him, I was there when Lev Levin gave him money, him mean, meaning John Saldiva. Um, he said that he gave them a few halves, packs of $10,000 of dollars, um, and this was apparently, this took place apparently at Zubar Kazi house um, here in Belize. Um, he said that he was invited to, to visit in Belize and it was one of five visits that Jacob Kingston and Lev Derman uh, had taken to Belize between 2012 and 2015. The last visit they had to Belize was April of 2015. Um, and that is confirmed with what John Saldiva had stated in his first press release in response to the scandal and allegation. He had mentioned in that first press release that he did meet Lev Derman as a businessman in 2013. And his last interaction with Lev Derman was in early 2015. And according to court records and Jacob Kingston Travelocity records, they traveled to Belize in April 2015, where they met um, John Saldiva once more. Now, uh, of the five visits that they made to Belize, were they specific about who they interacted with during those visits? Yeah, so according to Kingston, he still has a few days to testify. Um, the purpose of the visits, he was, in terms of projects, in terms of that physical and online casino projects, mm -hmm. properties are bought in Belize, um, Lions Gaming was mentioned um, during his testimony. He did mention that the former PUP minister and uh, former minister of finance, Ralph Fonseca, assisted in getting them the license for that online gaming company here in Belize. According to Kingston, he also mentioned that they bought property um, here in Belize and that money was transferred to um, Ralph Fonseca to the tune of over seven hundred thousand mm. um, dollars, in terms of that property that he bought in Belize to house that online and physical casino. Now, there was also a specific reference made of a visit to Southern Belize, and you um, you can provide that update to us. In fact, there was a photo presented in court as well. 
According to Pinston, during their visits um, in Belize and when they met with the Honorable John Saldiver, he said that Mr. Saldiver invited them to take a boat trip to southern Belize. And pictures were shown in court, um, and the pictures showed a smiling Lev Thurman along with two unidentified military um, men. One of them was armed, and um, and they, were take, they took the trip to southern Belize. Also, they had dinner and they dined at a Placencia hotel um, during uh, his visits in Belize. And those visits, Marlene, would normally be between, be between one or two weeks. Mm. Um, so the photograph, however, the, um, the defense objected to that being submitted because according to the judge here in Salt Lake City, it, was, it wasn't properly submitted by the prosecution. So it's sort of like the day the photographs sprung up on, on the jury. Yeah. And so judge ordered the jury to, to have that um, shock out from the record and have any questions or information related to that specific photo showing Lev Derman in the, 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 the Belizean boat, which Kingston described as a Navy gun boat, yes. um, um, be removed from their um, consideration. Yeah. Did you manage to see the photo? Are you able to recognize the military gear and identify um, what specific members of our defense force were in it? Yeah, they didn't have, they had jumpsuits. I think it was navy blue jumpsuit. They didn't have a specific logo as many of our military uniform would have on the side. Mm -hmm. um, we can say there's only two um, men, military men. One was armed with a rifle. Um, each of them on either sides of Lev Thurman, and, and you know, he posing and smiling for the cameras as he um, took that trip down in certain Belize. Mm. Now, Hippolyta, you've been in court uh, for over a week, and, and Kingston's testimony is pivotal, um, not just for the information we, we've been waiting for here in Belize to get some clarity, but also pivotal to the case in general. Um, as, 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 as Derman sits there and hears Kingston, uh, telling all this information, what is it like in the courtroom itself? You know, I whenever um, Kingston makes some really serious allegation against Lev Derman, my eye runs to, to Derman to see how he would react. And in certain instances where he is accusing um, Derman of taking or receiving millions, tens of millions of dollars in cash and check from Washaki, the, the company that Kingston is in charge of, you know, he shakes his head. He shakes his head whenever um, Kingston can't answer a question from from the prosecution. He laughs. You know, when he's is he content whenever the prosecution doesn't get that satisfying answer they would want from Kingston. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, Kingston delivers in terms of setting out the timeline and what really happened in this billion dollar tax fraud here in the U.S., Derman shakes his head. He looks at his attorney, um, tells his attorney something, complaining about what um, Kingston is saying, you know, and so forth. So that is the, the interaction I'm seeing now between um, Lev Derman and, and Kingston in court. So in summary, um, Hippolyto, if I'm to look back on the information you've shared with us so far, in terms of monetary transactions that have been mentioned in court so far, uh, there has been the mention of the stacks of cash, uh, the $10,000 um, stacks uh, that Kingston said he witnessed being handed over to Lev Derman, and also a transaction of over $700,000 for uh, purchase of property for the gambling site that they were hoping to develop. Is that accurate? Yes, that is accurate. Um, Marlene, again, just to reiterate, Kingston said he saw Lev Derman give um, the Honorable John Saldiver stacks of cash, um, a few halves, and he said that it was $10,000 wads of cash he gave um, Minister Saldiver during their 2013 uh, meeting here in Belize. And they also, he also testified in terms of setting up that casino here in Belize and buying that property and paying over $700,000 um, for that property to be set up here, um, for that business to be set up here in Belize. Yes, and in fact, uh, wasn't it the fact that the federal prosecutor specifically asked if he had witnessed the handing over of money? 
I'm sorry, Marlene, can you please repeat that? That the federal prosecutor in the case specifically asked if he witnessed the handing over of money from Lev Derman to John Saldiver. Yes. They asked about the money, you know, they asked where did he get this money? Um, Kingston wasn't where um, or from where exactly that Lev Derman got this money to hand over to to, um, to, to Minister John Saldiver. In terms of the purpose of that money, um, Kingston said he is not sure, did not know the business between the two men. He said he's not sure what Lev Derman was getting out of it or what John Saldiver was getting out of it. But what he pointed out or what the prosecutor pointed out is that this was of Lev Derman's spending and his association to high-ranking government officials. And this is what um, cemented, I believe, Kingston um, idea that indeed Lev Derman had his boys or his umbrella um, organization looking after him um, in terms of getting close to the Minister of National Security, getting close to police officers here in the U.S., the sheriff here in the U.S., and even to mayors um, in Belize. Hmm. Now, Apollo, a lot of this information came out uh, in the morning. Is there anything that came out uh, later on this afternoon, or have they moved on to other topics at this point? Seems we may have lost our connection. Hippolyta, are you still there? All right, we have lost that uh, connection. Yeah. Do we have you? All right, it seems we have lost the connection. However, yeah, you're, you're breaking up. So we'll, we'll revisit that conversation and that specific topic later in our newscast or tomorrow as well.